Today, I will guide you on how to quickly obtain a level 7 chip, but this method will consume a considerable amount of resources. Step 1. First, you need to determine which type of weapon you need the chip for. For example, if I choose the Doombringer chip, I will go to this map to farm cards, because my goal is to exchange for a legendary weapon. For step 2, you need to have a lot of Lydri, cards, and Esso. By now, I believe everyone already has a substantial amount of these resources. If you are short on Esso, you can dismantle some unnecessary triangular chips. Alright, for step 2, you will enter the weapon crafting area to exchange for the legendary weapon with the fate bound you need. After that, you will use Lydite to upgrade the equipment to tier S. If you have extra weathered stones and gold, you can change the fate bound to achieve this, which will increase the success rate. Step 3, proceed with sidebar modding to prepare for obtaining high level chips. The reason for upgrading to tier S is that sidebar modding at higher tiers will yield higher level chips. Next, you will dismantle these weapons. You will receive a random level 4 chip from the 3 fate bound of the weapon. This is why I suggested that if possible, you should change the third fate bound before dismantling. With this method, if you're lucky, you will only need 3 attempts to get a level 5 chip, 9 attempts to get a level 6 chip, and 27 attempts to get a level 7 chip. While farming for equipment, you might also find level 4 chips with the correct fate bound you need, which could reduce the number of attempts required. This method should only be applied to weapons that you intend to dismantle to obtain high-level chips. If you want to use a weapon, you should sidearm it immediately when it's still at tier 0 to save Esso.